The first event on the Rhino Club calendar of 1986 just happened to coincide with the last heavy snowfall of the winter. But our intrepid club members were not to be discouraged by such minor hazards. More than 200 Suzukis and their owners turned up for the two days of Arena Essex and the vehicles came packed with friends and family, all determined to have fun. On arrival, all cars were checked by the all-wheel drive club scrutineers to ensure that the safety standards were adhered to. No one seemed put off by the dire weather and they all signed on in what can only be described as arctic conditions. The clerk of the course, Stuart McCutcheon, had quite a job on his hands to keep up with the worsening weather. Nonetheless, he seemed confident that participants would find the course drivable. Stuart, you've had a quick look round. What do you think the opportunity is going to be for these people to drive the course sensibly? They'll all drive the course sensibly. Uh, it'll give them an insight into driving in snow and further control of the vehicle. Do you think they'll have no, no problems at all on any parts of the trials course? They may have some problems and the latter parts of the trial course, but you can drive around them. But you've already done it in the Suzuki? Yes. Right. Thanks very much, Stuart. Carry on. Don't want to keep you hanging around. Let's park at the course. Send a, send a check. You know the address. <laughs> As the vehicles lined up at the start, eagerly awaiting for the all-clear on the course, we took the opportunity of talking to some of the participants about the day, the conditions and their vehicles. Just an owner. Just an owner. Was a a did you go to the Rhino Rally? No, we, we were missed the notification for that. So, oh, you did? Uh, we joined the club just after. So Have you driven off-road much? I've done, done a bit in the Lake District, but uh, nothing, nothing on an organised basis. You ch had a chance to look around? Yep. Uh, yes, what I, do think you think? I might be chickening out one or two of the uh, sections. Well, we drove them all yesterday with yeah. the camera in the car, so it's a bit different with the snow. Yeah. But at least you know they've all been driven with the Suzuki. Yeah. So you're looking forward to it? I am, yes. You'll yeah. get the bug then, won't you? Well, we've got the bug already. This is my second Suzuki. I mean, so. in trials, so... Oh, well, yeah. It's obvious from your accent where you're from, but where are you driven from? Uh, well, uh, Kent. Kent, so... Yes, we So uh, you've had a bit of it already? Well, yeah, Father's got a country park out there, ah. North Downlands. Oh! Uh, on Flint and Chalk. Ah, yes. And uh, we use this vehicle for that. You've got um, the 413, I see, whereas we've got quite a few 1, yeah. 2, 4, 10s and only a couple of 413s. That's right. Well, I've just had this one six months. I uh, had a white one before, for two years, 410 one. Um, you know, my next one's a long wheelbase one. Yes, it's nice, isn't it? Yes, so I've seen the pickup, yeah, have you? That's right, yeah. Nice. Have you had a chance to walk around? Uh, no, I haven't. No, no. So I'm just hoping <laughs> the thing goes round. No, we're just keeping our fingers no, well, we crossed. We drove around it yesterday. Are you looking forward to it? Yes, very much. 
Well, it's very really nice. I say the only thing I'm apprehensive about is the big drop, but uh, in the snow. Yeah. But I suppose you know, let her do it on her own. That's, That's the thing. Yeah. It looks worse than what it is. I, 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 it feels to me worse than what it actually is. But, uh, I've done ordinary road rallying. We did a camera on the shoulder yesterday. Did you? Oh, well, that's all right then. I've done road rallying, but not this time. Oh, no, not him. He's too brave. He, he had a rock off it. He was the one strapped on the roof rack. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, enjoy yourself. Looking forward to it. Yeah. So we'll see you when you come back at the end of the day. And yeah. See how you feel yeah, alright, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Quite enjoyable. Book a toilet paper, will you? Eh? Plenty of that. Got a bag in the back there already. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot. Okay. okay. My wife would like to answer all your questions. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> right, are you looking forward to it? Yes, very much indeed. It's going to be a bit different to the other ones, isn't it? Um, Rhino Rally, for example. Do you know, to be quite honest with you, I'm not quite sure what to expect. Have you not walked it yet, then? No. Oh, well, Stuart's been walked, so... Thank you. Should be quite interesting with a bit of snow on the ground. No. Especially if there's one or two up and down hills. There's a few there. I think you should go and look at it, don't you? Good idea. I'll send the wife. Got your wellies on, love. <laughs> All right, enjoy yourself. Will do. Thanks a lot. Bye bye. <laughs> Eventually, the go-ahead was given for the course to be opened, and in a short time, the Suzukis began to make their precarious way along the marked-out safari course, all against the backdrop of a winter wonderland. entrants had been advised to drive the safari style course before entering any of the trial sections. <clears throat> Strategic checkpoints attended by the all-wheel drive club marshals were set up to stop drivers before any difficult sections to give advice on driving them. But before long many of the participants were beginning to look like hardened and competent off-road drivers. In these blizzard-like conditions, it would have been understandable if some had refused certain sections. In fact, everyone who took part completed the whole safari course, though some did decide to give the trial sections a miss.
No, just go. Go on. No problem. There were, of course, those who came determined to find the wildlife, but discovered that tyres designed for dumper trucks and thick mud were no good for hard-packed snow and ice. In fact, if you get them hot enough, you can cope with quite steep gradients. And thanks to Reg Gill Limited for the floor show. Others found that ignoring the markers and making their own course could drop them into a somewhat embarrassing situation. But with goodwill, humour and quite a lot of help from your friends, everything can soon be put to rights. He's got the wrong lock on. No, no, right hand lock. That way. Ready? 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 Other owners then proceeded to show just how easy the sections could be, much to the disappointment and dashed hopes of some of the spectators.
This particular section was more like a roller coaster ride than an off road trial, but again, most drivers made it without any problems. This box trial section proved awkward for many at the last gate, but there was the occasional experienced driver who showed that with careful approach and throttle control, it could be done.
There were times when some thought it would be more fun to ram the cameraman than to follow the marked course, but fortunately they had second thoughts. The second day saw many people up and out early, checking the course and conditions on foot before driving it. After a very cold night, the ground was now very hard, very icy and in some cases very difficult to drive. The marshals took to other Suzuki products to check out the course quickly. In some cases, the steep gradients were actually worse on foot. As on the first day, the weather deterred no one, and soon the Suzukis were out on the course, brim full with happy club members and friends, all obviously enjoying themselves. There were opportunities to opt out of some of the steeper sections, but few drivers took the option. Most were determined to experience the drop. With good advice and lots of shouting from the all-wheel drive club marshal, most succeeded without mishap, though the odd one seemed determined to give the cameraman another heart attack by going slightly off course. If you weren't there on the day, here's a chance to see something of what it was like from the inside.
Later in the day, the sun came out and conditions changed from hard and icy to very muddy, wet and slippery. But despite the mud and dirt, there was no stopping the drivers. The bug had well and truly bitten.
good things must come to an end. And what better to reward your hard-working Suzuki than to give it a well-deserved pressure wash carried out by the lads of the Air Training Corps. As the course closed and the final few struggled over the finish line, there were many to talk about. I'll ask you a few questions. Yes, yeah, certainly. You've been round how many times now? It's the first time. Have you done any of the trial sections? Yes, yeah, been round three of them, the, the ones that are open. What do you think of it? Really good fun. Going to go out straight again. Never been before. No. Are you going to do more off-roading? Yeah, yeah, certainly. Going to try straight away again now. What's it taught you about the vehicle? Well, it can go virtually anywhere, and, and we'd have really good fun while you're doing it. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, terrific. Yeah. Down in the trial sections? No, no, we just wanted to, to do a search. Get a look at them. That's it. Yeah. What do you think? Well, no, we do give that a good crack as well. Oh, you enjoy it? Yeah, yeah, as well as the broken window yeah. in the back as well. Oh, how did you do that? Oh, we just elbow. elbow through it. Elbow. <laughs> well, what else is it talking about the vehicle, apart from the fact that you can go the window? <laughs> it must have taught you something. Yeah, oh yes, uh, very capable vehicle and more capable than a Range Rover, I think. We've just proved that. Tremendous, terrific. Absolutely. Could recommend this to everybody, <laughs> especially the over 80s. You've changed your tyres as well. You yes, yeah. burnt the midnight oil. We've got up the big hill this time. We got stuck on the other one. We're actually going to. We're actually going to come when you've got it sanded. <laughs> you bit, oh, terrific. Yeah. Is it made you come when you obviously like the vehicle anyway? Because you can tell by the way you've signed. We're dealers. <laughs> Are you going to sell more now? Are you going to any customers here? We're going to buy this video. Well, we've come put it in the show. Have you bought the others? Yeah. Yeah, we've just bought yeah. one this one. We've come 200 miles to enjoy ourselves, and I think we have done. Yeah. Yeah. Smashing. Terrific day. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, great fun. Have you done any off-roading before you came in? No, not really. Okay. Only down. Is the back wheel truly bent? Uh, I think so. I have to get a cheaper vehicle to do it in there. <laughs> Well, I see these. Well, yeah. yeah, yeah. There are a lot of non-damaging events which are a lot less demanding than this one. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Has it surprised I... you what it would do then? Incredible. It surprised me yesterday. <laughs> and being in it is even more surprising. Right. It's fantastic. Very good. Beautiful. Bit slip either. I wish I brought more, mine. Would you come? Sorry? If there was yeah, more. Yeah, certainly. Then, yeah. I'll bring mine one. I've got 14. <laughs> Have you? Yeah. Has it surprised you what the vehicle did? Well, we've done a little bit before, we, but we only do in anyway. sort of woods, but not, not yeah. as bad as Fantastic. that. Fantastic, that's yeah. good. This is good, Look very good. Look at you smiling. Love the Yeah, great. Cheers. Need we say more?
The second Rhino Rally was held at Donington Race Circuit, with over 500 vehicles taking part from all over the United Kingdom, plus a large contingent from Norway. Right, the marshal's briefing now at Safari Control, please. Uh, once again, can all the marshals, all the marshals for the competition go to safari control where Stuart wants to brief you? As soon as possible, please. The all-wheel drive club were there again and they'd organised a driving skills course. Unlimited gates and all different numbers. All they've got to do is car gates. It's carry on and complete the session. They're allowed to back up, allowed to shunt. All you do is score them accordingly. Any cane they touch, or any mark that they touch, and that's any part of the day, they are all the same. Ten points. Get yourselves out and have a look. Come on. It's nice out here. Come along. There's no good you sitting in there. Come on, have a look. It was a useful opportunity for one driver who admitted to never having engaged four-wheel drive at all. Though there was just a hint of reluctance in giving the course a go. Never had it in four wheel drive before. Oh, you can yeah. do the start of the show. <laughs> so we'll start. You get the pass in the seat. Then right. Okay. 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 After being driven through the course by an all-wheel drive club member, this poor lady was on her own. Too bad. <laughs> Were you surprised? Yes, very surprised. What the vehicle would do? Yes, yes, very surprised. You enjoy it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And what's, what's the others make fools of themselves, Neil? What did you think now you've driven it? <laughs> there, yeah? You're a film star now. Um, <laughs> I can't be a film star and a four-wheel driver all in one half hour. And you've done it though. Yeah, I was very frightened. I don't know. I think I should have tried to practice. I didn't think it would be anything like this. I thought it would be just over fields with markers. I didn't know. I think you just a bit in the deep end if you've never done four-wheel drive before at all. I said to you know, I said, is this the novice course? I'm looking for the novice course. You know, well, this is it, you know. I was really, I was scared. But you've done it. Yeah, I don't know if I can do that next one, though, because it goes down a hill and there's a big ditch and you have to go back up again. You that The Tug a Rhino, it's a knockout competition, was very popular again, with everyone soon getting into the spirit of the game, despite the rain. Oh, no. I'm the team on my right, the red team are already away. I might be forced to ask you to cheat if you don't get it in in a minute, Blues. The truck's being pulled, they're just about to the tyres on my right. 17 seconds. That's a very quick time for the tyres. There's a willy almost at the door, chuck it in and run, go on. I don't mind cheating, I'll face the repercussions afterwards. One minute. This is where strength's ready. ready. <laughs> They've got the R in place. Obviously went to the right school, that way. And the blue team begin 
probably the hardest task of all, putting this rhino together. I've not seen one myself, but I'm pretty sure they do. They've probably four rovers, they do have four. They've got at least two minutes to spell rhino. That could prove difficult the way going on. Hang on, they're doing it. The red team have it. What's the time, Brent? Two minutes and 17 seconds. World champions. The cameraman's laughing so much he can't keep a focus straight. <laughs> We've got an ear missing. We've got a triangle bit. Give us a Hang on. Easy love, no. Come on, Bob. Show them the way. There you go. Hey, why don't you go across to the red board, Dave? Oh, that'll do. Fantastic. Thirty-seven hours and fifteen minutes. <laughs> While some carried on testing their driving skills, others tried their hand-to-eye coordination on the clay pigeon shoot, while the children expended energy in races and the super bounce. <laughs> Riding one of the cart horses we brought. You picked the wrong horse, obviously. <laughs> Actually, if you think it's that easy, you want to come and try it sometime. Come on, Vicky, trot him in quietly. Get up and canter if you like. Wonderful. Final buff. Give him a round of applause. They did very well indeed. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the centre arena, the Wild West had come to Donington, with a reenactment of a shootout in a small western town. Concourse d'Elegance was as popular as ever this year, and there were live interviews with the participants. The canvas, the sloping canvas fitting, did you buy it by that, or is this an extra you decided to put on? I was an extra because there's only uh, me, uh, me, sometimes just your passenger, so I don't really want the... Uh, You're not worried about that back seat. And this is the front car. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Have you had it on road? No. No, I don't like today. You're <laughs> <laughs> too proud of it the way you yeah. sound at the moment. Yeah. Did you paint these white or did you buy them as white? No, I bought them as white. And you like that finished touch? Yes. It says on here, limited, limited edition. edition. Uh, well, well, I don't know what that means. But you wore a limited, limited edition. edition. Yeah, and you like it. The, the lines, lines on the inside of the, of the door, door have a rather nice effect. The pattern is carried on the ceiling. It's all awkward and clear. You know, you just get the most thing all out. Have you ever had to do that yet? No, I'm going to take it away. Why not? I don't know, it's the word. What about the metallic? Is that hard to get clean? I've only had it three weeks today. You haven't washed it yet? Well, I've washed it yet tonight. No problem. Oh, yeah. 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 Y
Now, did you buy the vehicle like this, or have you bought it and then added things as you've gone along with it? Uh, the last thing, yes. The last thing. <laughs> bought it and then added things. The covers in the rear, are these your making, or has somebody... Uh, they come from Denmark, actually, but you can buy them in Norway. So and why have you put them in? This is a... Is it a... It's like a carpet covering. What's it... So what's the purpose? Uh, it's a... Uh, no purpose, really. It's, it's just for... Uh, I mean, if, if I have a dog and it's um, very uncomfortable for a dog if you don't have these carpets. So it's just to keep it clean and tidy and also to give some comfort to the pets. Yeah. Again, custom seats and you've followed through with the design of the seats also on the panelling. Uh, no, these are original seats. These are your original buckle seats? Yes. Again, different. So they're a Norwegian style, are they? Yeah. Can we get them over here? I've not seen that style. <laughs> I don't know. So something unique on yours again. Have you had much opportunity to drive around with the, the canvas off? Is the weather good enough for you? Yes. doesn't matter if it rains. We always drive it open in Norway, even if it snows, you know. You don't care? No. And do you think you've won the competition today? No. Which would be your favourite car along here? If you had to choose one, which one would you choose? Well, I haven't uh, seen everybody yet because I just came in here. But uh, if I find the LMJ80, I think that would be my favourite. We shall look for one. Right, well, later on we're going to have a little knockout contest. If you were here this morning, we had a couple of these. We've got a fast this time. Which is what we had at the moment. It's very quick. And if you saw it this morning, it was great fun. I think something like two and a half minutes was the fastest time this morning. The course will be set up a bit later on. Eight prizes were awarded in all this year, six placings, a best all-female entry and a best foreign entry. Second place, A447 RKH. Spent three days cleaning it up, it proved worthwhile. And first place, A462 NKA, I think it is. You get to keep a special trophy. Special ladies' prize. Ladies, please come forward. Come on, Mum. <laughs> come on, ladies. Take a prize. Oh, four. Come on, put your hands together. These are the ladies who very bravely entered the driving competition earlier on. The morning driving competition. Big drive. Oh, yes. Oh, that's nice. All four. All the way around, please. <laughs> Slow, dwell on it, please. Oh, very nice. Thank you. Back and to. our special Norwegian prize, please, I guess. Obviously, it's coming to make your prize soon. A round of applause for our Norwegian guests. As the all-wheel drive club set about working out the results of the driving skills competition and enrolling new members, 
visitors try their skill at flying model helicopters and riding the Suzuki four-wheel bikes. The queue for the driving skills course was just as long in the afternoon and proving just as much of a challenge. And do you remember the lady at the beginning who didn't think she'd be able to do any more off-roading because she was too frightened? I was absolutely petrified. I am very glad Stuart went with me. I sort of chickened out, but the more I did, the more I liked it. And I'm really pleased with the vehicle. It did things I just wouldn't believe one could do, you know. Oh, yeah, so, I mean, I liked it before, but now I think the world of it now, you know, and, um, I might do, yeah, I'd like to, but I'd, if I got a co-driver with me to sort of give me a bit of confidence, I was talking to it like I do my horses, I was going, come on, come on, steady, whoa, steady, they all, they all thought it was hilarious, but, yeah, I'm glad I did it, I'm glad I did it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really glad I did it, yeah, I think I've really achieved something, you know. I should think I'm, I'm about bottom of the order, I must be, but I'm really pleased. Today it seems makes quite a difference. <laughs> 